is Cheryl here. Um, I am seriously, seriously, seriously behind on doing my uh, store video. Um, when I get new things to add to my store, um, this is like three videos behind. So this is going to be a much longer video. So please be patient with me. I'm going to try to go as fast as I can. Um, I got quite a bit of new things. Um, I'm going to go through um, my mixes first. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not going to go into too much detail why I'm behind on this video because watch the video prior to this one it explains it all. My internet. Ugh. <laughs> so anyway, um, I have quite a bit. Pardon the noise. My chair is broken, as you can hear. Um, <laughs> so, um, anyways, uh, I'm going to do my mixes first. Um, my mixes tend to sell out faster than I can keep them up. So, whew, I've been busy. I made some some mixes. Uh, I did, I'm trying to pull them out of here. Um, I did quite a few of them. In fact, uh, the ones I have on my nails are part of my tropical drink collection. <laughs> Um, I tried to do my nails last night and I just, oh, I haven't done my nails in probably a month and a half since the last time you guys saw my nail video and, oh, yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> it was, they say, you know, if you, you, you can't do them, I mean, it's like, I don't know, I was having troubles with the angles and stuff, uh, so, oh, yeah, yeah, anyway, so I, but I'm very happy with these mixes. I have to tell you, I used three. I did, um, this is the strawberry daiquiri, and what I did was I used my, uh, focus. I used my glow powder, um, acrylic uh, on the beds, and then I put some of the butterflies on there, but, um, I'll show you which ones I used. I used the, now these are finer mixes. This one's called strawberry daiquiri. And um, I used a lot of really cool, like, special effects types glitters in these. And um, you would be able to see it better if I um, used more of it. Um, I put it on kind of thin. This, These I gradiated kind of up. But that's the strawberry daiquiri, and I just absolutely love it. I'm going to use this again. Um, I used on my pointer finger and pinky the blue Hawaii and I just absolutely love it now the butterflies don't come in the mixes those I put on separate so there's no butterflies these are just strictly very fine mixes um, with like I said a lot of special effects type glitters and shimmers and it's just it's it's super pretty so I use that one. And then on this finger, um, I use the pineapple cocktail. And the butterflies kind of made it look a little bit more green, but it's not. Um, it's like a, it's kind of like a lemon lime, I guess, really bright. So that's that one. And then the ones I didn't use are the banana daiquiri and you can see they are different um, different colors so there's banana daiquiri I have um, mint mojito and I also have mango daiquiri and with all of these um, and this is what I was gonna do I was gonna do a fruit nail <laughs> so if you buy any of these mixes they come with Fimo, a little bag of female fruits I was going to do those, but um, I just, yeah, I was having too much trouble with my nails last night. So I just threw a few butterflies in there and called it a day. So that's the Tropical Drink collection. And then I also did another fine one is, I'm calling this one Twilight Saga. This mix is just stunning. I um, put it on a practice nail. I can't find the practice nail anywhere, of course. But this one, I used this really awesome, like, shimmer in there that I've never seen anything like it. And, I mean, it's beautiful all by itself, or you could put it over a white tip, and it's just gorgeous. This is awesome. 
So that's that one. And then I'm going to go through my other mixes here. Um, like I said, you guys must just love these mixes because they sell out faster than I can put them up. In fact, most of these are, yeah, there are, some of these are running low already. This one I'm calling Party Naked. Um, it's just a black with a bunch of neons. Um, this is a restock. <laughs> Diva sold out on me now twice, <laughs> and Diva, excuse me, with hiccups, Divalicious, those two are restocks, so I have those back. Another restock is, and I usually, like I said before, I usually do not remake mixes, so please don't ask me to remake mixes, especially if they're really complicated, because I usually can't remake them. These I can remake, because as you can see, there's not much to them at all, but they're very, very beautiful. So, um, and this one, <clears throat> not much to it at all either. So these I can redo. Um, these are both remakes um, and they are back in stock. So it's polka dot and kaleidoscope. Those are back, kaleidoscope's on its way out again. Um, I need to buy more glitter to make that one again. So um, let's see here, I have, this one here, it's called Dare, and it's got beautiful, it's got some like rainbow shimmer in there. Um, super pretty, super fun mix. I'm gonna try to speed it up because I got a ton of stuff to show. Um, this one's called Mixed Fruit, and I absolutely just love this mix. I think it's so much fun. Um, I made one called Unicorn Poop. Yes, I've never made a unicorn poop. I know everybody out there who has made glitter mixes has made this but me. So my first attempt of unicorn poop. So there it is. <laughs> I made it. So that's available now. Um, this one's called Holo Gold Fever. Very pretty mix with some, uh, that's like a 002 size um, gold shimmer in there with um, the bigger pieces. So that's really pretty mix. Um, I absolutely love this mix. I It's called a summer party. I don't know, I just love the colors. I think it looks like a lot of fun. So that's um, summer party. This one's called Lagoon. Very pretty mix. It's a lot like my Surf Sup mix, which is almost gone. Um, but this one is definitely different <laughs> than it, so it's not at all the same, but that's very pretty. I like that one a lot too. Um, this one's called Fantasy Island. Got a lot of pop in there. It's really pretty. I like the colors. Um, this one I call Summer Lagoon, and there are black dolphins in here. Um, you just aren't going to be able to see them. You can kind of see. There's one right there. So that one's called Summer Lagoon. Very, very pretty mix. I have Desire. Love that one too. Very pretty. As you can tell, I'm in the summer. Feeling the summer with all the neons. <laughs> so... This one's called Butterfly Garden. It's full of neons and neon butterflies, and there's some holographic pop in there. It's a very fun mix. Um, this one's called Poolside, and it's another really fun summery mix. Um, just love that. So that's that one. Um, I was asked to try to remake this one, so I tried to remake it. It's very close. Um, I called it Surprise. It's one of my older mixes that I sold out of. So, um, this is a remake of Surprise. It's just a bunch of neon, mixed neon dots in different sizes. And then there's black caviar beads and a lot of iridescent and some, uh, shimmer. So there's Surprise. And then the last of the new mixes is, um my lupus awareness mix and it's got a lot of purples and um, I did add some like pink chiffons and some whites there's a little blue in there um, May is lupus month and a lot of you know I suffer from lupus so um, this is my lupus 
awareness mix. So there's that's the last of my new mixes. Now let me get to some of the shapes that I added to the store. Um, now some of these are, well, a lot of them are requests. Um, I'm just gonna grab some. Some of these are, yeah, re-ads like these. These are re-ads. Um, the 1mm and 2mm mixed neon dots, that's a re-ad. The mixed neon hearts, that's a re-add, and the neon mix Mickeys, another re-add. I sold out of those, so I had to get more of that. Um, I'm trying to grab here. Um, I picked up some lavender um, circles. I got more of the hot pink because I sold out of those, and then I picked up some lighter pink, and you can see, well, maybe you can see, I don't know, there's definitely... These are lighter, <laughs> a lot lighter than these. Um, so this is just pink and that's hot pink. And then these are the holographic gold circle. These are not solvent res resistant. So um, do not use these with nail polish. If you're gonna use them with your monomer, test them out first. <laughs> so um, I know if you use like the half dry ball technique and just place them, they don't bleed, but um, just test them out. So I have quite a bit of non, not solvent resistant stuff right now because I had a lot of people request some different shapes and um, yeah, you'll see them in a minute. This is a Riyadh, I sold out of these, so I got those again. Um, these are the 2MM Black Stars. I got them in holographic silver and I got them in hot pink. So I have those now. Um, I have these in three different colors. Again, I know they're maple leaves. I just, I started with oak leaf and I'm just sticking to it, I guess. <laughs> but um, yeah, these are the green ones with the champagne pop. I just restocked these because I sold out of them. And these are the copper ones, which I sold out of, so I just had to restock those. I also have them in orange, like a yellow orange color. So, um, I also got, um, uh, these are new. Um, these are the holographic gold, uh, starfish shape. Um, I have these in silver as well and white, I believe. Matte white I have them in. Um, the 2MM gold holographic squares and I got the rainbow iridescent hearts. I just love those. Those are so pretty. Um, I got the, let's grab these here. That's a restock. Um... These are those um, butterflies. These are a uh, restock I sold out of these. Um, the champagne blue butterflies. And then I got the fantasy effects um, butterflies. These are so awesome. These are the ones I put in my nails. Um, well, I didn't use the green one. I used the yellow one. But these are um, fantasy effects. And these are focus. These are the green. And you can see how pretty they are. Um, these are the yellow, and these are the ones I put in there. They're so pretty. I love them. Um, these are a fuchsia. Very pretty. These are a purple, and I did put those in with the blue. Um, these are a pink, and I used that on the pink. <laughs> so those are really cool. I love these. And I got them in orange. And I was going to call these red, but my son said they look like fruit punch. So I went with it. <laughs> so those are fruit punch fantasy effects butterflies. I just love those. So those are all the fantasy effects butterflies, which I absolutely just love these. Um, And then I got some... Oh, I'm already sold out of that. I got the the rainbow mylar. I'm gonna reorder that that I'm sold out of. Um, these are 
not solvent resistant. Again, um, these are uh, pink triangles and then silver triangles. Um, again, these were a request. Um, I have, these are a lot of requests I'm going to be showing you now. Um, I think, yeah, I got these in a bunch of different colors. These are the, the little fat cats. Um, so, yeah, I just put on there not solvent resistant because when I tried them with nail polish, they, of course, bled. Um, when I used them with my monomer, they were fine. I mean, I wouldn't put them in mixes. I'd put up, they're, they're so large, you know, you just want to put it out one on your nail anyway. And what I used was I just took like the half dry ball technique and placed it over it. And it was fine that way. Um, they can be used in, um, builder gel. If you do gel nails, I don't, they won't bleed with that. So, um, but yeah, I had quite a few people request these. So I got them in pink and then the silver one now the silver one doesn't really bleed that badly honestly because what happens is they all turn silver so um and the black one is pretty good too as far as if you're you know it's not gonna bleed as badly or actually it didn't at all but i'm not gonna <laughs> say that it won't um and then i got them in gold and then i also got them in purple so those are those. Um, again, these were another one. I got a lot of requests that I filled. So these I got in blue. These are the hollowed out squares. The silver. The pink. Um, and the matte white. And the matte white is fine. But um, I wouldn't use it with nail balls just because they're thicker. Anyway. But yeah, they're they're fine. The black was fine too. Um, they've got a little bit of a holographic pop to them. The black do. The white ones are just matte. Um, here's the raspberry holographic, and then the gold holographic. Um, those are all the hollowed out squares. And then um, these were. Yeah, these were another, gosh, I, I did have a lot of requests. I didn't realize that I filled. Um, somebody requested me to get these scissors in different colors. So I do have them in gold. The gold ones seem to be fine as far as they don't bleed. Um, these bleed, the, the teal ones. But again, like I said, if you do it a certain way, it's fine. It works fine if you use the dry ball or a half dry ball. Um, these are in pink, and the black ones seem to be fine. They don't seem to really bleed or anything, but again, if they bleed, I don't wanna say. So that's why I put not solvent. <laughs> um, I had somebody request the mud flap girls. I don't know if that's what they're called, but that's what I'm calling them. Um, they have a little bit of a holographic pop to them. Um, same rule goes with these. They're the black ones. They seem to not really have much trouble, but I did put not solvent resistant just in case they do bleed. So I didn't have a problem with it. I didn't really have a problem with silver ones either. Um, but the gold and the teal, yes. <laughs> Unless I did, like I said, that half dry ball technique. Um, I got these as a request. These are the... Uh, raspberry Betty Boops. Um, these are, I'm just calling them uh, ballerinas. I didn't really know what else to call them. And then I got the pink holographic Betty Boop spangles. Um, and then, let's see here. Oh, this was a restock. Um, the pink purple swirl, I sold out of those, so I got more. And I don't know why I have two of those in there. <laughs> um, I got these, um, the teal holographic, and these are not solvent, and the purple, which are not solvent. And then I also picked up, and you can see the difference. Uh, these are just like a, a pink. These are the ones I've always had. This is a new color I just picked up. So it's kind of like a watermelon dark pink I don't know <laughs> I just call them pink now um 
last things here before I get into some other stuff. Um, these leopard spots. When they're gone, they're gone. Um, where I was buying them, they were just charging way too much for them. I just can't. I can't do it. Um, I'm going to try to find another way to get these because they were very popular. In fact, I think I have one left. So um, I'm going to try to get more. That was the black one. I don't think I have any, maybe one or two of those left. Um, I got them in turquoise. Um, I had them in aqua, but those already sold out. Um, I got them in watermelon pink. So if you guys want these, grab them, because I don't know how long it's going to take me to find another person to get them from. Um, but these are the neon yellows. I got the royal blue. These are cherry red. Um, hot pink. Um, fuchsia. And that's it for the leopard spots. And then I got some of the purple bows, the little, I don't know if you can see the little bows. So I got those. And then um, last two things before I get into these other things. Um, these are the daisies um, and the teal champagne. So these are a restock. I've had these before. But you can see how they pop really pretty. I love those. So that's a restock. And then the black ones are also a restock. So I have those again. Um, and I wanted to also show you guys that uh, I this acrylic that I use as my nail bed, um, this is um, the glow. Make sure it focuses. You can see how it's, it really pops. And it glows this beautiful, like an aqua teal blue. So I have that up in my store. It's a half ounce size. Um, there's quite a bit in here. If you guys all know who buy this from me, be careful when you open it, it's full to the top. So <laughs> it's very full. Um, I've used this size and I can get multiple sets out of this size. I've actually been working off of a half ounce size for the last like six sets that I've done and I do my entire nail in it. So. I just love this stuff. So there's that. That's available in my store. And then the last thing I want to show you, I am super excited about. It took me a long time to um, find an acrylic that I would be happy to put my name on. So this company here, and it, this stuff's all made in the U.S., by the way. I should really um, point that out. But this company sent me multiple samples to test out of things that they had. And I finally um, found one that I really am happy with. And it is, I'm calling it the Ultra High Gloss Gel Crystal Acrylic Powder. And this comes in a one ounce size. Um, this acrylic is, is awesome. It works like an acrylic, but it looks like a gel. So I would not suggest you know, wasting it and mixing your glitter mixes in it. But for encapsulation, it is just stunning. It is so pretty. Um, it, it just really pops and shines and it's, it's really nice. It's easy to work with. And, um, I'm very excited about this product. So, um, I have that. And then there is a monomer that works with it and it's the four ounce size and what I do is I sell this as a combination in my store it's um there's a nice flip top lid on here so this is called the low odor um it's MMA free purple monomer acrylic liquid this is the non-yellowing no lifting formula it's made here in the U.S. and it's uh, made to work with uh with the ultra high gloss acrylic powder so if you buy this set that's the monomer you're going to be getting um it's not no odor it is low odor so <laughs> it's not that bad um i say it was comparable to the monomer i had prior to them changing it on me so um 
I, I don't think it's bad. It doesn't have like a really long hang time in the house as far as, you know, after you're done doing your nails, it doesn't smell that bad afterwards. And it's, it's, it's got a monomer smell, but it's not like smack you in the face monomer smell. I actually do my nails in a, like a, a den with, there's no, this part of my house is underground. So there's really no windows in here. And me and my husband share this office. And when I was doing my nails last night, he actually wasn't complaining. So, um, he said it wasn't that bad. So it, you know, I like it. So anyway, that is in my store. If you guys have any questions, just ask me. Um, again, be very careful when you open any of my acrylics because they are to the top and I just don't want you to waste it and, you know, spill it all over yourself. <laughs> so anyway, um, so that is it. That is um, some of the new additions in my store. <laughs> I hope you guys um, like the video. If you have any questions, concerns just ask I'll put my store link down below um you know comment if you have any comments my um, email it's all down there so anyway um hopefully I will see you guys soon in my next video this video has gone on really long I hope you guys liked everything if you have any like I said requests just ask I'll try to see I, I'll do the best I can <laughs> as far as finding stuff um, let me know what you guys want, what you like, um, and I'll get that for you. So anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love y'all. Bye.